Hi guys, I hope you're keeping well. Don't worry, you are on the right channel. This is SNS Serpentarium. My name is Richard. Sean's seen my video on how to tell if your boy is a common or a red tail and liked it so much, asked me if I would do one for him. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hi, my name's Richard, aka Reptile Rich. I want to invite you into the world of living with exotic animals as pets, taking you on a journey to inspire the conservation and preservation of these amazing creatures and their habitat around the world. How do you tell if you have a common boa? Uh, I see this a lot on Facebook especially. People look at my, my red tail and it's just an imperator. I'll start off by saying, your, uh, your common boa is your boa imperator and your true red tail is your boa constrictor. Now there are many localities of each. Um, there are many morphs of imperator as well. So your imperator is an imperator. It's very easy to tell. Your red tails are a little bit tougher. Now your true red tails, of course, will have that typical red tail. Now some people go by the peaks on the saddles. There are some boa constrictors that have peaks on the saddles and no red tail. And there are some red tails that have a red tail and no peaks on the saddles. So the two that I'm going to show you today are your stereotypical textbook Imperator or Common, which is Marley that I've got here, and your stereotypical boa constrictor or red tail which is my serenium red tail which i will take out for you guys in a minute so i'm going to start off with your saddles like i mentioned your bat saddles or your peaks so if you want to take a closer look at marley here now my golden rule is if you can draw a circle between the saddles it doesn't have to be an actual circle there marley just genuinely has perfect circles between all of his saddles because they join um, but yeah, if you can draw a circle between your saddles and you don't have a ruby red tail, the tail is in a sort of a, you can see that sort of zigzag pattern there because it's perfect diamonds all the way down, you have a common. Now, when your BCIs are very often born with a bright orange tail, almost red. Now, this is to blend in with leaf litter when they're babies. It's a form of camouflage. Like many big predators, they start off, or big animals, they start off when they're young and vulnerable, more camouflage, different, uh, different colours. And as they get older, they've got less things to be scared of. They don't need to blend in as much. So that's when they lose the, bright, the, the orange tail, um, is your commons. So that is your stereotypical common. Now, like I say, there are many localities, many morphs. Um, it's probably worthwhile mentioning while I'm here. A lot of people ask what morph their common is. If you don't know the parents, and it's kind of, it goes for red tails as well, if you don't know the parents, you're just stabbing a guess and you'll never fully know what your common is. So that's Marley. That is the common. Let's go and get a true red tail out. He's beautiful. I love my boy Marley. And this is your stereotypical red tail or boa constrictor. So if you come in closer, you will notice the peaks on the saddles. So I can't draw a perfect circle in those saddles because the peaks are going to interrupt the saddle. Like I say, there are some boa constrictors, boa constrictors that don't have the red tail. I think the Brazilian one them. And the, the, the Peruvian red tails, I think, are one that has the red tail and not the bat saddles. Now, notice how ruby red that tail is. Also, the whiteness in between sort of amplifies it. This tail, when looking at Marley's, looks completely different. Um, it's one of these things, it's good to see them side by side. If you go on my original video on my page, you will see them literally side by side and you can see the difference. But I think you could probably get a good enough view there to see 
the difference in them. The camera doesn't really pick this up, but being a Serenium, Mordecai here has some nice pinks and purples up his side as well. But um, that's your main differences of a red tail to common. Husbandry wise, humidities, temperatures, they're pretty much exactly the same. I keep them exactly the same. Um, care wise, I would say that your boa constrictor or true red tail is a little more sensitive to like some temperature changes and sudden humidity changes, things like that. Whereas your common's quite bomb proof. Uh, same with feeding as well. Red tails can regurgitate um, if they can't, you can't power feed them, they will regurgitate. Whereas the common is like a dust and it's easy to create an overweight common boa because they will just eat and eat and eat the more you throw at them. Your true red tails tend to be bigger. Um, male, male common or imperators will get to about five, six foot. Uh, female common or imperators can get to about eight foot. Your true red tails, I mean, they have been known to get to about 12 foot, although that's quite rare. Um, 10 foot is certainly easily attainable. So your, your red tails are bigger, but as is it just because it's a bigger snake doesn't mean it's a better snake um, there's nothing wrong with ham having a common if you've got a common um, absolutely nothing wrong with that there are people you know that can get a bit antsy when you tell them that their uh, their, their red tail is actually a common um, shops tend to stick the label red tail on anything because well when you look at a label, red tail boa is a lot more appealing than just common boa. So there is that. And if you're buying it, pro uh, and then someone buys that and then sells it privately, they label it as a red tail just simply because they don't know any better. And that's how that sort of goes on. So hopefully, guys, that is a nice, easy, simple way to tell your stereotypical red tail from your common. I uh, hope that helps. Another giveaway, I forgot to add this, um, another giveaway to if you have a common or red tail is the price. Red tails are usually about three times the price of a common. So if you've, if you've paid like 50 to 150 pounds, you've got a common boa. If you've paid about 300 pounds, you have a red tail. Um, another sort of giveaway is if you have to ask, you have a common um just because of the price you know um people aren't going to undercut themselves so if you've went out to buy a red tail and you've paid red tail prices you know that you have a red tail if you've bought something for common prices and you're unsure the chances are you've got a common um as always sean's a good guy and uh, make sure you give him a subscribe a like share his page, comment. I'm sure he's going to put the links to, to my page in, his, in this video. I've been chatting to Sean for a while. I love his stuff. Uh, he's got some good stuff on here. So thank you very much for tuning in and hopefully see you guys again very soon. <laughs> Marley wants to play Xbox. You don't have ears, buddy. Why do you need a headset? <laughs> We're getting ourselves in the pickle, boys. One thing I left on the couch, and Marley got into it. Give me it. So, nutties. What was I saying? Yes. <laughs> so this is what I was saying.